G'day Real Estate Rockers, Glenn Twiddle here. I don't know if you know this uh, good looking mug, but this is Chris Gilmore. And uh, I just wanted to do this quick video for Jeff Bald and let you know what's in store for when we're coming over to the Real Estate Rocks event. And so just before we talk about young Chris, who again, his reputation, if you haven't heard of it, goes before him. But what you're going to get out of my talk in particular is I really, really want to impress Mr. Jeff Baldwin because I have a great deal of respect for him. So ordinarily at a one day event where it's kind of a lower price tag, we might do some of our good stuff and some of our stuff that we're reserving for our private clients. But I promise you, I will be bringing the absolute best strategies that I've got to offer. You won't be getting the entree at this event, you'll be getting the five star meal that's created a bunch of number one agents across the country, including young Mr. Gilmore. He probably gives me more credit than I deserve because I don't care who this guy's coach was going to be, he was going to be a, a star, but it's all of the strategies that he learned early in his career from uh, my stuff, plus all the stuff that we've kind of innovated together, and I'll be delivering it to you on a package, and it'll certainly be the best day's training. My promise to you, if it's not the best day's training you've ever got, I'm going to have a pocket full of hundreds, and I'll hand you double your money back on the way out with my apology. I promise you it'll be that good. So that's the sort of stuff I'm going to be bringing you. Different hunting strategies, different farming strategies different fishing strategies, all designed to have you, a, a, a coupled with also positioning strategies where you're seen as not just a real estate agent, you're seen as a celebrity in your area, the, the kind of the, the celebrity specialist guru that people climb over broken glass, kind of like they do with John McGrath. You know, John McGrath doesn't get the objections you get. If John McGrath was gonna list or sell a home, they wouldn't say, oh, Mr. McGrath, you know, will you match the cost cutter guy down the road? You know, he doesn't get those objections because he is a celebrity authority specialist. And Chris has duplicated that in his business and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that in your business. So, and, and so really Chris, how would you sum up what you're gonna be showing them uh, when we get over there? You know, to, to the Rockets, to the Perth Real Estate Rockets. Yeah, yeah, well, I'm looking forward to their weather, man, because it's like Christmas weather, but um, first time in Perth, so really looking forward to it. But um, look, uh, quick story, I've been four years in real estate, so I don't know everything. But really, all I'm going to do is just share what I've done in in the last four years and uh, how I've you know I have about 86% market share in my area, uh, and uh, we'll list or sell a home every 26 hours. So we're going to show you a lot of stuff like that. Um, you know, we're we're not selling million dollar homes; we're just selling everyday family homes. Mm. Uh, you know, some prospecting ideas, how to run the perfect open home. I believe, you know, I reckon we do run probably the best open homes in Australia, mm. and um, you know, just just more prospecting ideas and, and how to generate more business, how to get more listings and to sell more homes. Yeah. yeah. It's all it's not rocket science <laughs> stuff and you're gonna hear that a lot because, you know, I think everything that I, I talk about people should be doing anyway, but you know, you're not gonna hear anything new. Mm. And I suppose one thing that Chris kind of very cleverly does, but very humbly does, because it is part of him, is he, he kind of minimizes what I think is quite brilliant about him. You know, Chris humbly doesn't sort of brag about this too much, but he pipped, and here he's gonna say, shut up about that, but he pipped a million dollars in his third year doing these basics. You know, what he calls basics that we all should be doing, a million dollars in his third year in real estate, to me, is out of the park. And he never, you know, now let me ask you this, never picked up a cold call and never knocked on a door? No, I don't door knock and I don't cold call. Uh, and I don't do auctions either, so if I just offended someone and you're not coming because of that, um, that's fine with me, but that's just what I do and, and it's I've learned other ways and other techniques how to get around that and have more warm calls or mm. warm door knocks and, um, and, and be really non-real estate. Mm. And the other thing I'd just draw people's attention to, um, what's your take on newspaper advertising and, and, and marketing? You know, sell or paid advertising, what's your take on all that? Yeah, look, uh, every, every home that we list has VBA, vendor paid mm -hmm. advertising, um, but I have not put one home in a uh, newspaper in like three, three and a half years. Mm. So how to earn a million dollars in three years by someone who's done it without running a single ad in the paper. I think that's worth getting along to uh, real estate rockers. So I'm Glenn Twiddle, Chris Gilmore, we're going to see you in a couple of weeks, uh, May 7, find the link or whatever, just... Uh, move hell or high water to be there, uh, if nothing else to hear this guy's couple hours that he's gonna share with you, because I'll be sitting there taking copious notes myself. So, Cool man, thanks for hanging out. No worries. <laughs>